In this example, we're going to go over how to find the distance of a light beam that travels in one year, which is also known as a light year. Um, what we do know is that light travels at 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, which is an insane amount of speed, um, given that that light beam is traveling through a vacuum. Um, in physics, if you have um, light travel through a, a sort of medium that um, is gravity intensive like a black hole or any other sorts of, of, of or gravity intensive masses that exist in the universe um, the the light speed changes so um, but we're going to assume that this is light traveling in a vacuum at three times uh, to the uh, 10 to the eighth power meters per second and this program is essentially teaching us how to use a scientific notation um, when doing math on these specific problems so the first thing we need to do is we um, before we even get into the scientific notation portion of this project uh, we need to find out how many seconds uh, are in a year? So, in a year, so we know a few things. In a year, we know that a year has 365 days. We know that a day has uh, 24 hours. We know that a uh, an hour has 60 days or 60, an hour has 60 minutes, and a minute has 60 seconds. So essentially the idea here is to try to find out how many seconds are in a year. Uh, these will be initializing my constants for year, day, hour, and minimum, and minute, I'm sorry. And I'm going to use these constants to compute number of seconds in a year, which is very simple. All you have to do is create a variable that will do this computation for you. So essentially, you'll take all of these constants and multiply them together. So we're going to take year times it by day times it by hour times it by minute. Good, so now we know what our total seconds per year is. Now, the next step is to try to create a variable of, uh, of a light that travels at that specific speed. So we can, um, we can denote this as a, like a light velocity. Um, so I'll have to add a variable which initializes velocity and we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll be more specific on this I'll call this a light velocity and we know that the light velocity is going to be 3 times 10 to the 8th power so Really what you can do here is you can either write an enormously large number, which in this case would be eight zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, which is not too bad because you're not doing the math. The computer is doing the math for you, but you'll have an insane amount of zeros if you want to work with numbers like 10 to the 30th. 10 to the 100th and it just becomes a little harder to manage those um, those inputs uh, those variables those th that data so instead and like we do in real life um, when we're writing things down we will use scientific notation and the way to write scientific notation is to include the beginning portion of the scientific notation, which in this case would be 
could be E, or it could be just 3 as well. And then we'll add the E to denote that notation. And then we'll have to raise it to a certain power, which in our case, light travels at 3 times 10 to the 8th power. So we'll write 8. OK. Finally, the last computation that, um, that I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the um, distance traveled um, for, a, for a light beam, which would be light velocity. And I'm going to times it by the total seconds per year, and that should give us our light year. So I'm going to create a variable called light year and do just that light velocity times total sex per year. And then finally, I'm going to output light year result. So this will be light year and then this will be in the form of just light year because light year is it, it's its own unit. So once we have that number outputted, we'll be able to see this as a number light years. And let me make sure I'm calculating this correct write a program that calculates and displays the value of a light year. Okay, so we'll go ahead and run the program. I have my doubts about that dimensional unit that we're using, so, so I want to make sure that we are doing this correctly, but let's go ahead and, and do that. Okay. So this won't be in light years, this will actually be in meters per second. Or not 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 seconds anymore, but it'll actually be in meters. And this is going to be our answer. So this will this will be our answer in terms of how many meters exist in a light year. Again, light year is a distance, it's not a time frame. It just means the total amount of time or a total amount of, of, of distance that's traveled during one year period. So this will be measured in meters. And you'll see this um, whenever you have this, uh, when, if you were to do a dimensional analysis of, of, of this formula here, you'll notice that this is measured in meters per second, and then this one is measured in seconds per year. So the seconds cancel, and it gives you the uh, actual distance. Okay, so that is it for now. Um, if you have any questions, um, remember the, the, the portion of this program is to really focus on the scientific notation that is especially important to kind of maneuvering with big numbers um, or very small numbers um, and making sure that you enter them to your Python program correctly to avoid any syntax errors, any logic errors, that any runtime errors that might occur. Um, Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below, um, and thanks for watching.